Are you? you get to see me not look like death for the next couple minutes. I uh, had to meet a couple parents this morning, so I didn't want to scare anybody to death uh, by looking like a crazy person. Makeup is magic, huh? So um, tomorrow is my surgery date. I don't know what time yet. They're supposed to call me today uh, and let me know. So still trying to get all of that situated with, yeah, my daughter, her school, my babysitter, my wife, her schedule. It's just, yeah, I hate not knowing stuff. Like I am a major control freak. I need to know everything ahead of time so I can wrap my head around it. And this hanging in the air is pissing me off to be completely honest. I don't like the call the day before with your surgery time. Like that's bullshit. Anyway, um, feeling better today, less emotional. Um, I had a good night's sleep and I lost five pounds. Yeah, five pounds down just on my liquids. So I accredit this to retaining major water weight. And, you know, I was very bloated and, and huge and swollen from binge eating and drinking and all that crap for my birthday. Um, you know, they say fluids push fluids. So I've been slamming water, drinking bone broth. Um, I did actually up my protein yesterday in my bone broth because I was starving all day and I was having a hard time not biting into something. And that's gonna be definitely hard for me on this new journey because I just wanted to bite something and I didn't, but I wanted to. And uh, yeah, I'm down five pounds. So with that said, and my inflammation has gone down some, my pain has gone down some. So walking Addison to school this morning, um, I wasn't on my hands and knees crawling. I made it without, and Addison actually turned and asked me a couple of times if I was okay, because she's really used to me uh, leaning on her or complaining or stopping or holding on to like some scaffolding or whatever to, take weight off my back so it wasn't bad I mean it hurt but it wasn't like crazy hurt Oof, man anyway so um so that happened I'm down five pounds uh surgery tomorrow um I am prepared my only thing so yesterday I had high blood pressure all day I had a headache all day my wife was scared I was gonna have a stroke so we took my blood pressure pill I emailed my cardiologist to see if I should take it today because um, the surgeon didn't want me taking it two days prior to surgery because they don't want my blood pressure to bottom out. Um, from what I've heard, one day is okay. I don't know, we'll find out. So I haven't taken anything until I hear from my cardiologist. But after I took my blood pressure pill as my wife, who was brilliant, suggested, I felt so much better and I got rid of like my seven hour headache. I have a blood pressure cuff um, that's also like Bluetooth to my phone so I can upload all of my readings. And I mean, I was like 156 over like 98 all day, which isn't like stroke level necessarily, but it's not good. So, um, so there's that. So this morning I had my coffee. I'm not hungry. I did have some bone broth. Did I mention earlier I was starving yesterday and added protein to my bone broth? That protein added to my bone broth curbed my appetite. Um, I knew that in the past, I had heard that protein, I guess that's why, you know, people eat protein bars or like whatever as like meal supplements because it curbs your appetite, but that actually did work. Um, and that's something that I'm gonna remember if I ever fast again because all the fasts that I've done in the past have not included any protein. They've been like legit fasts with just bouillon that has like nothing. 
Um, so anyway, I don't know. Um, I'm not even trying to like mess around with my diet and do dumb stuff. I'm just doing what I'm supposed to. So I did do a little video, which I'll upload, um, kind of showing you the, the fat that I removed um, from the refrigerated bone broth this morning. So that's interesting and gross. Um, I wanted to share a couple of things um, regarding my, my nutrition packet. And this is called Sleeve Basics. And I think I'm gonna do that on a separate video to not make this one too long. So anyway, that's my update. I don't know if I'm going to um, record anything in the morning because I don't know what time I'm going to the hospital, but I'll do like some small videos and uh, put it all together at some point while I'm in the hospital. So I wanna thank all my friends and family for messaging me and sending me all these like positive and inspirational messages and it's helping me uh, stay positive. Um, thank you for praying for me and wishing me well. I want to be pain free. I, I, that's my goal here is being pain free. So anyway, my, um, pain is now today. I told my wife, um, it's at like an eight and a half, which is a significant difference compared to where it was yesterday. I'm scared to be excited, but I do believe it's this uh, clear liquids. I'm not eating all of these things that trigger all this inflammation. I mean, I'm not certainly not pain free, but I'm not like suffering, which is major. My stomach uh, is it as poofy? It's usually the stomach. It had been. poofier but it's not as poofy today so my inflammation is going down and that's a positive so anyway uh, sleeve basics next video and uh, I gotta work all day I got a ton of work to do I'm gonna be out of work for the next few days so uh, that's it love you guys bye so here's the fat I was talking about yuck I hate that it's so gross Sometimes um, I've made this bone broth and I've saved the fat in a mason jar and I cook with it. Obviously that's not gonna be my new f future, which is not super high in fat, but if you're gonna cook with fats, these are better than crappy fats. These animal fats or I think. I don't know. Maybe don't listen to that part. But anyway, I can't stand that fat in my bone broth.